So we just got through seeing the David Rosa movie. What brought you here? I have uh, Israeli friends who we met like seven years ago. And I just had the chance after leaving Gaza, after the siege. Uh, I, have, I left Gaza a year ago in 2014. And now I met my uh, Israeli friends here in the US. I had the chance. And this is, uh, and they invited me to this movie. Actually, I didn't, I had no idea about this movie. So they're the, they are the people like who invited me about, about like what is mo this movie about. So I came, and uh, it's nice, nice, nice documentary. Yes, it's a nice movie. Are your notions different living here? Are your notions about Israel different now, or are they the same as when you're in Gaza? No, it's. I, when, even when I was in Gaza, I was always searching and I was also always trying to understand, as, as any Palestinian in the, in the Gaza Strip who is under siege, trying to understand what's happening, what the other side wants, and what, what, what we want to do and what is the other side wants to do. So the ideas did not change, uh, but for sure we expand our knowledge, we expand our information about other solutions. We always have to keep searching uh, what we can do in order to have uh, at least a peaceful or like at least understanding of, 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 of like of coexistent in a in a in a in a justice way a coexistent of understanding right and justice for both people yeah had you heard of uh, david broza before tonight no i've never heard about him never but i'm really happy that i know him now i met him i, I spoke to him he's a really great person and I'm really happy that also what he did in Jerusalem in the near future can be also happening in, in, in the Gaza Strip, in Nablus, in Haifa, um, and other, other like in, in the occupied West Bank too. If there were Palestinian musicians or filmmakers who made a film like this about peace with Israel, would they get in trouble? The, the, the problem is, is bigger than, I, I, I really respect what he did, I really respect this movie and I respect the musicians. Uh, I really, uh, like also we get in, in the Gaza Strip we also respect artists, but the, the idea and the problem is, is even bigger than that. Uh, I understand the situation that, and the tension nowadays is bigger than having or doing this kind of stuff, even though this, this these things are really important for, for both people to start doing it in order to make any kind of understanding each other. But we have bigger issues and bigger problems. For me, as a Palestinian from the Gaza Strip under siege, I, maybe I would also reconsider and think twice before doing this kind of, uh, of movies about peace. Because how come I think about peace at the time that I'm, I'm under siege since 2005? In the Gaza Strip, I have only electricity for four hours a day. I mean, he, as an Israeli living in Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv is not like the Gaza Strip. Uh, I, I can't really think about having a movie or doing a movie at the time that we don't have power, we don't have any kind of basic circumstances in the Gaza Strip. I, I, maybe I would love to do it in the future. I would love to do it if the circumstances are better. But for now, I don't think I would even do it, even though if, it's, uh, if I'm going to be in danger or not. Are you, are you a musician? Uh, I play piano and I play also violin. Uh, my friend is the Arab Idol uh, uh, of, uh, who's from the Gaza Strip. Yeah, who won just like the Arab Idol like three years ago. I guess what I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm asking is, would the society accept the idea of making peace with the Jewish state? With, with whom, excuse me? With, with Israel the, as a Jewish state. I don't think that people and society would accept it because if you're talking about the Jewish state, you are talking about Palestinians who didn't live the, the place, who are 2 million people and who are 20% of the population in the Israeli society. So if you are talking about a Jewish state, then it means that these people has no right in a Jewish state because they are not Jewish. A Jewish state means that everyone is Jewish according to one religion. So no, but there are Christians and Muslims, uh, Baha'is living in Israel with citizenship. Uh, I would also would like to have a certain definition of what is a Jewish state would look like. Until now... What's well, a Jewish state now? Until now, the Palestinian Authority did not recognize Israel as a Jewish state. 
and the international community is also refusing or like there's a negotiation about having a Jewish state. And also for me as a Palestinian and from the Gaza Strip, I would, before I recognize even a Jewish state or even understand, trying to read what is a Jewish state, I need a certain uh, definition of what is a Jewish state would look like if I am going to recognize it, what, is, what I'm going to get in return and what about the Palestinians who are living there? What about the whole situation? If you're talking about a Jewish state, this struggle is too much big than just talking about small words and small definitions.